as the Biafra agitation and Oduwa Republic agitation is gaining more ground and prominence, time is running out for the nation Nigeria. It is suicidal to pretend about it. Nigeria is on fire over insecurity. Few years ago, we published an editorial warning Nigerians, especially those who live in the South, that death was approaching from the North. But now, death has arrived. There are protests in the South, mostly by women and young men who work in the farms. They can no longer go to their farms because of the possibility of being raped, killed, or kidnapped by criminals who have consistently been identified as headsmen. In Uromi, Esan North East local government area of Edo State and in Epie Atisa communities in Yenogua by Yelsa State, crowds of women protesters trooped out to the roads demanding that headsmen vacate their lands. It is dangerous that headsmen killings, raping and kidnapping of people in different parts of Nigeria has been politicized. Some state governments and politicians may, for political calculation and the votes they expect to win elections, have decided to keep mute over the alarming development. But the people who receive the swords and the bullets are crying out. They are not only crying out, they are also moving to defend themselves. If the police, army, and other security agencies appointed by the Constitution to protect them fail to do so. At this juncture, it has become important that all Nigerians understand that the real intentions of those fueling these mayhems are no longer hidden from Nigerians. We believe the sooner we came to a round table and honestly discuss the future of Nigeria, the better it is for, or the better it is, the better it will be for anyone, for everyone, I beg your pardon. For the security agencies to fail to stop criminal headsmen from raping, killing and kidnapping people wherever they are raises a red flag of suspicion. Also, disturbing is the assertion by some people that the criminal headsmen have the constitutional rights to live wherever they choose, thus stoking and escalating the crisis. Nigeria must not be dragged into another civil war. Injustice and oppression breed rebellion and war. Those who rule over the affairs of Nigeria must work to enthrone justice and equity and nurture it to make for peaceful coexistence of people from different ethnic origins. One sure way of doing this is to create the enabling environment for us to talk to ourselves and truthfully too. With the ferocity of the headsmen attacks spreading all over the country, even the blind can see that fast that sorry that time is fast running out for Nigerians to come to grips with the evil and danger that insecurity has become in the country today. It is time is also running out for Nigeria to still remain one as the continuous agitation for separation is getting more attention and gaining more popularity as the day goes by. If nothing is done to address the situation, 
if the government does not take the necessary steps to listen to the people, address the yearnings of the people, it will be too late by the time the government may feel compelled to act. The best time for the government to act was yesterday. The second best time for the government to act is today and now. And if they fail to do so, the chances that Nigeria may witness or may not witness a war is very slim. The chances that Nigeria may not witness another civil war is getting slimmer as the day goes by. The leaders and the present crop of leaders of Nigeria today must put behind them every selfish interest. They must put behind them what they desire to achieve and put before them the interest of the poor masses that they are meant to serve. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, well, insecurity, it is, time is running out for the nation, Nigeria. The question is, does the leaders of this nation actually see it from that point of view? Do they see it from this argument that time is running out for the country? To a very large extent, I don't think they are seeing it from that angle. I do not think they are seeing it from that point of view. And if they are not seeing it from that point of view, it shows that they are myopic in nature and they are not even thinking about that. It shows that to a very large extent, they probably do not even care about what people are saying. You know, one would have wondered if President Muhammad Buhari campaigned for presidency for the number of times he did only to finally get that slot and this is what he is able to produce. It shows that all the while, what he was coming for was vengeance, revenge, and to just to take power, to sit on power. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.